In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to pick up the Blitz in Madden 20. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel focuses on helping you get better in Madden, basically through doing tips, tricks, strategies, and also through chatting with you personally. And so if this interests you, what I want to encourage you to do is to join our Discord. It's kind of the hub where you can get your questions answered, not just from me, but from the rest of our community. It also allows us to direct message each other back and forth, so I really like that platform. So anyway, I'm trying to get 100 people in our Discord server, and once I do that, I will release a free offensive and defensive guide for you. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to work on how do you pick up the blitz? How do you pick up the blitz from a play like this? So we've all seen this, right? And I am a big proponent and I love to run the spread. Um, it's just my favorite type of way to play. I love the air raid. I've done a lot of videos on that at my channel. And so if you want to pass the ball in Madden 20, uh, I would encourage you to go over to my YouTube channel, check out some of my videos that I've done on passing and but what I want to do today is I want to share with you how you can master pass protection from the spread and specifically um, a way that you can kind of take this. And if you can pick up the blitz from the spread, you can pick it up from any formation in the game. So, all right. So let me just back the ball up here just to give us a little bit more room. But the best blitz in the game, in my opinion, I mean, there's there's two really, really good blitzes in the game this year. Um I mean, there's, I guess there's two or three, but they kind of use the same principles. And so the 236 and Dime 146 to me are the two are, are really right, kind of go hand in hand. But basically what you'll see is you'll see something like this. Um, whoops. You'll see they'll slide their guys in just like this right here. And if this guy, and then they'll QB contain rush, right? This is the basic blitz setup. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, normally they're going to get somebody free. They're going to they're get somebody off the right edge or off the left edge. And they could do some manipulate, some other different ways to manipulate this defense to make it look even better um, and to basically make it more difficult to stop. So, for example, they're sending five, right? And this guy on the left here is the issue of this blitz right here because he's the hard guy to pick up. He's, he's the guy that is the hardest to pick up. You can typically pick up the left side pressure, but what what you'll see, so you're thinking, okay, well, if, there's an, if they're getting one guy free, then that must mean that all I need to do is to block my running back. Well, in Madden, there's several different things that you can do to pick up pressure. One of those is blocking your running back. So as you can see here, I'm going to block my running back, and at the snap of the ball, that time we did get the pressure picked up, but I think it's also because I didn't get it quite set up exactly with the right angles. But you'll see this all the time. This is this is the blitz that everybody runs. I mean, everybody runs it. And what they'll do is they'll take this guy right here, and they'll man him up, and then they'll kind of hover him. I like to hover him right in here. I think that makes the blitz just a little bit better. And you'll see here, I'm just going to block my running back. And at the snap of the ball, they're going to get somebody free. Again, we were able to pick it up. But that's kind of step one, right? If you can pick up the pressure... Um, it's, it's really step one. Now, the air raid offense, and this is the offense that I love, they teach half slide. Half slide meaning that whichever side the running back is blocking, they're going to slide halfway to the left to the opposite direction. And so I kind of try to create that in Madden and want to share that with you today. So from the spread, again, we're going to set up the pressure just like this. And this is, in essence, what they're going to do. And this is what I, I mean. A lot of people like to do this. So I'm going to block my running back. So in theory, if they blitz somebody off that left edge, I'm not too worried about it because my running back's there. And you're oftentimes are going to get a cut block animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide protect to the left side of the line. In theory, that should help with picking up the pressure. Um, and as you can see here, we're able to pick it up and we're able to make a read. Now, the better types of players that you play, the better blitzes that they're going to throw at you. So let me give you um, let me give you an example of something that they're going to do, right? This is something that I would do, and this is certainly something that you'll see if you play anyone that has any skill in Madden. You're going to see this all the time. You're going to see this this look right here, and they're going to have to line these guys up so that the contains are on the outside. This right here is the base rush that has plagued Madden 20. Plagued Madden 20. It's the, it's the best way to blitz by far. And they'll typically bring this guy down and they'll hover or they'll man him up on the running back. Or they may just flat out blitz him and then they're going to user him into a zone. What that's going to do, and I just want to make the blitz as good as I possibly can here. So if I do that same setup, right, now you're going to see that guy should come in off that left edge. I'm having a little bit of issue getting him in there, but normally he's going to come in off that left edge. If they get everything set up in time and they get it all done right, 
they're going to get some left edge heat. I think it's because of my my when I bring him down, he's not he's not setting up exactly the way I want him to. But something like this, this is this is one way, and this is an example. I mean, yes, they're sending six, but I'm blocking six, so in theory, I should be able to pick this up. And as you can see there, the blitz screams off that left edge. Now, if you want to pick up any type of pressure in Madden, I want to give you a tip that's going to stand the test of time. This is going to go beyond Madden 20. What you want to do is you want to go into practice mode. You want to try to run the blitz, and then you want to um, go into instant replay and see what the issue is. What is the issue with your offensive line? So what I like to do is flip the camera over this way, and then I'm going to zoom in. Now, the snap of the ball here, I'm going to see that my tackle, for whatever reason, does not pick up 28. My guard blocks nobody, right? I mean, I guess he blocks KJ Wright. My center blocks somebody. My back basically blocks nobody, Of and I got a double team on the nose guard. So see how that's an issue? I don't want to double team the nose guard, right? I want to block. I want to pick the pressure up. So we've got to figure out how to combat a blitz like this. So what you do is you go through and you can try a variety of different things, right? And again, every year is different. It doesn't, it changes every year. There's so what I want to do is give you the principle and then I'm going to give you the exact setup. So from spread, there's several different things that you can do. Um, what I, what I could do, one of the things that I could do is I can slide protect to the left side of the line of scrimmage. Again, that's the half slide. And then I could ID the guy that I run the running back to block. We learned that from our cut block video. So I want the running back to block the defensive, the linebacker that's going to come free or the corner that's going to come free off that right slot, leaving, in theory, good pass protection across the board. So we'll snap the ball here and we'll see. And you see there, we're able to pick the pressure up. Now, that's not all that you do, because you'll face some people that run a better version of the Blitz, and the Blitz will cons consistently come in off that side. So when you're in the throes of a head-to-head -head match, it's difficult to prepare. Um, it's difficult to lab it on the, on the fly, right? You want to go into practice mode. You want to be able to test and tinker and do different things to see how you can basically pick up the pressure. So maybe if they do something like this, right? This is very common, so they're going to hover him in just like this. So again, I'm going to do the same setup, and you only want to change one variable at a time. That's the key. You only want to change one variable at a time. So the snap of the ball here, you see, oh, we're still able to get the pressure picked up, and we're still able to make a read. So that gives me a little bit more confidence that we may have something here. So now what I'm going to try to do is, again, I'm just going to continue to run through the gauntlet of what they could possibly do on the defensive side of the ball. So maybe, maybe to get this blitz come in, what they what they need to do is get Jadavion Clowney to take the tackle and to get that corner around and get the guard. That's that's basically what they've got to do, right? So they're going to blitz KJ right, and then maybe they'll do something like this. They'll hold right in here. Okay? So then I'm going to also try to crash my line down, just trying to experiment, do different things with the line crashes. So the snap of the ball, I'm going to, again, ID the mic that I want the guy to block. I'm going to slide left because I can either slide left or right. That's my only options. I can choose to double team somebody if I want to, right? If I want to double team somebody, I can. So like in this scenario, I could double team block this corner on the left if I wanted to, which tells it signals to the tackle and the guard, you're going to you're gonna slant that direction. Now I'm going to reset it so it doesn't double team anybody because in theory, they're going to be blitzing six people. So here you see at the snap of the ball. And we're still able to pick it up. So now you start to see how you kind of have something. Now from spread, I want to show you, those are some simple ways to do it. You're basically asking yourself, who can the running back block? Because what a lot of people try to do, and I'm guilty of this, and we're all guilty of this. What a lot of people try to do is they just say, okay, I'm going to block the running back, and that's going to be that. Most people don't spend time in practice mode actually labbing their setups and their, and their blitz pickups. To me, it's one of the most underrated things you can do on offense. Because I don't know about you, but I have had so many issues with the blitz this year. So if I'm blocking Dalvin Cook right here, who can he realistically block? So for example, what I, what I want to do is pick up that left side guy. So I'm going to ID him on the left. Here you'll see, there's no way he can pick him up. And yes, we got the blitz picked up, but there's no way realistically he can pick him up. Now, uh, I want to go into the 3-4 bear for a moment. Because I think the 3-4 bear blitz is a little bit more dominant 
Um, it's a little bit more dominant than the uh, Big Dime. The Big Dime 236 to me is a good blitz, but it's not a great blitz. Um, let's jump into the 3-4 Bear. Because you'll see this. I promise you you'll see this. I promise you you'll see this. So Pinch Bucko, to me it's the best. To me it's the most aggressive form of pressure that you're going to face. We saw Mills do this at the Madden Bowl. So again, they're probably going to do something like this right here. Like this is this is in a nutshell. This is the blitz, and you'll see at the snap of the ball. If you send two out, they're going to get two guys free. As you can see right there, they get two guys free. And in mutt, when you got 99 speed guys coming at your quarterback, it's really difficult to make a read. Really difficult to make a read. So same thing here. Snap the ball, and you see we're going to again get two guys free. They're sending seven people. He's blitzing. You know that's the thing with this defense. You're blitzing seven or seven people. At the quarterback. And you're going to consistently get two free. So the question on offense is, well, let's do what we know to do. So we're going to man align or, or we're going to set the defense up. So again, he's blitzing seven. Now I've only got one person I can block with my running back. So what I can do is I can block the running back and I can ID the guy that I want him to pick up. Same type of theory, right? And then I can slide backside, half slide. So six man protection. You see how the nan see how the blitz kind of froze? This is a little little trick that they put into Madden this year. It's called nano it's, it's nano protection. What that means is they're essentially trying to solve the problem of people who run a gap blitzes. I was one of those people, right? People that can figure out how to manipulate the line of scrimmage to get a gap pressure. It's not really manipulative, as you can see here. It's just an overload. But as you can see, the center blocks nobody, right? Nobody. He doesn't, he doesn't, there's nobody he's blocking. I let the linebacker go out. If I blitz the linebacker, though, that's a seven-man blitz. So let me show you that one more time. So again, blitz all linebackers, QB contain rush, and then I like to crash it to the left. I think it gets, just gets a little bit better. So again, I'm going to ID the guy that I want the running back to block. I'm going to slide backside. Let's see what happens. Snap of the ball goes. And as you can see, the, the, the gap pressure comes right up the middle. So now, in my arsenal as a, as a quarterback, I've got to figure out how do I pick this pressure up. So from the spread, there's a couple of things that you can do. If they're sending seven at you, which they probably, if you're playing 3-4 bear, like it, that's the best way to run the blitz, you're going to send seven. Then what you want to do um, is you want to block seven, or seven people, right? Hat on a hat, and you want to be able to make a read. You don't really want to let, I don't like letting free runners come. So you see here, I can motion my guy to the right, Rudolph. I can motion him to the right, and you see how I can't, I still can't block him. What I can do is I can motion snap him off that left edge. So snap the ball goes, I, I block him off that left edge, and now we're able to, you know, get a route out or whatever. Then I'm just showing the path protection, don't really focus on the, on the route combinations. Okay, so that's one simple way that you can you can pick up you can pick up that pressure. Now, what the defense is going to do is they're going to get smart and they're going to try to realize how can I manipulate your line again. The whole theory to defense, the whole theory to behind blitzing, is can I send five people at you, and can I get one guy free? That's the theory in a nutshell. Can I send six people at you and get two people free? Because what that does is it gives them a coverage advantage on the back end. So another, so simply half slide, right? Set up your right edge pressure protection, which is half slide, which is basically ID in the back. Who can the running back realistically block on this scenario? He can block the guy off the def off the side. And then I'm going to motion Rudolph across and I'm going to have him pick up this guy right here. But as you can see, he completely whiffs and the pressure comes in. So that is the, 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 the delicate balance of the pressure. That's the delicate balance of the pressure. Because what you'll see them do when they pet, spread their line out, now, all of a sudden, you leave the contains. People use the word glitchy. I think that's fair this year. They just are, they just get in. They just get in better than the actual blitz angle. The line doesn't pick it up right. So I can snap Rudolph right here off the edge. And there you see he blocks. As you can see there, 
when you go into instant replay, what you find, and this is why it's really important to look at your instant replays on your blocking, because you're trying to figure out the blocking mechanics of the game. So, snap the ball, and I'm looking at the offensive line. Uh, let me zoom out here a little bit. So, I'm looking. So, the guys on the right side are doing, on, are doing what they're supposed to do. The guys on the left side are in th kind of doing what they're supposed to do, right? Kind of doing what they're supposed to do. But as you can see here, 75, he double teams Jadavion Clowney. I don't know why. And it lets 57 come right around the edge. So now what I've got to do on the offensive side of the ball is I've got to figure out why did he do that? I've got to figure out why did he do that? Okay, very simple question. Very, very simple question, but it has... Um, has profound profound answers okay so again here's your blitz setup they're gonna bring this guy in but this is just a simple send seven pressure now could it have been and and now what i'm gonna try to do is id the mic but i'm not gonna slide the line of scrimmage i'm gonna leave him stock right he sent seven and as you can see here now the blitz is picked up and now i can make a read and when you go back into the replay what you'll find sometimes it's not best to slide Sometimes it's best to slide, sometimes it's not best to slide, because what slide protection does is it slides them to a specific side. But because he's sending seven, see here you see this? And I didn't, let me let me redo that because I didn't blitz the linebackers, and that was a little bit of a, of a misnomer. So let's run that again. Again, you only want to change, labbing is a science. You only want to change one thing at a time, okay? So I'm going to block Dalvin Cook. And then I'm going to take Rudolph. I'm not going to slide protect. I'm just going to take Rudolph and bring him across and try to pick up that pressure. As you see there, Rudolph whiffs again. So those are those are subtle little issues that you have. Um, let me give you another um, example of something that you could see realistically happening in the game. So that's slide protect. There's the pinch line or spread line crash down to get him a little bit more of a spread angle. So one of the other things that I like to do is I like to take the running back and put him on a block and release route because I think it just helps pick up the pressure just a little bit better. So I'm going to do that, bring Rudolph across, and now you see we've got it caged. Now you see we've got it caged. So sliding to the left, what that's causing when you actually come back and do a little review with the 3-4 bear, what sliding to the left is causing your offense Sliding to the left is causing your offensive line to double team people they shouldn't double team. That's that's an issue. That's an issue. Okay, you don't want double teams. You want hat on a hat when a, in a in a seven man protection. If they're blitzing seven, you want hat on a hat protection. Whoops, I forgot the ID. So now maybe we could try something. Something like this. And, and it all, you know, the question is, who do you motion? Who do you motion? Who do you motion, right? Do you motion this guy from the left? Watch, I can motion him. And I can snap right in here. And you see there. But see that right there? See that issue? See that creates a whole slew of other issues. Who you motion where? Why you do that? Those are all things. So when you think about how to pick up some of the blitz, best blitzes in the game, it's not as complicated as people think it is. Yes, it is complicated. But it's also, um, it's it's also relatively. It just requires lab work. It just requires lab work. Most people don't want to lab. Most people don't want to lab. They don't want to put in the work to figure it out. So I motion them over, and there we got it boxed. And then I can throw, and I can get out of there, and make a read. Right. The defense will always have a plus one advantage in blitzing. Here's what I mean by that. So here he's sending seven, or he's sending seven, and we were able to pick it up. Now what happens if I do this? If I say, okay, I know you're going to block that tight end, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this. I'm going to send this guy right here, McDougal, and I can um, maybe if I can get the blitz. But you see here, I, I'm going to blitz him, and I'm going to slide him into this gap right in here. Very, very likely that it could happen. Very, very likely that it could happen in this year's game. So now he's sending eight people. Football theory, right? The defense will always have a plus one advantage. You have to identify who are the who are the threats. Who are the threats? So in this scenario, motion Rudolph over, 
pick up the pressure. And as you can see, that blitz is a long delayed blitz and it allows me to get the ball off. So those are some tactics that you could use when picking up the spread. But what I want you to take away from this video is blitz pickups in Madden. And let me just show, let me just share with you like a six man. So this is just simple six man protection, right? The pressure should come in off the left edge. So snap the ball or off the right edge. I see it screams. And I think I was able to get a gap and, and, and whatever. That's six man against five protection. So what I've got to do, if I wanted to, if I want to say, let's say I want to send him out on a route. Let's say I want to send Dalvin Cook on a route. So I've got to figure out then how do I, how do I take the best care of the five man protection that I can? That's another thing that people don't think about. So here you got to ID who are the problems. Who are the problems? Well, in this scenario, I think it's this guy right here. So then I can slide, and the pressure is better off of the right edge than off the left edge. I know that from running the de same defense, right? That's why it's important to get in the lab. So I'm going to slide right. Now, in theory, the pressure should come at me off the left edge. Should come at me off the left edge, snap the ball, and it does. And you see how it's a little bit slower. Even It's still six-man protection. Again, the defense will always have a plus one advantage. What I'm trying to do on the offensive side of the ball is I'm trying to limit where they can come from, and then I'm also trying to make a quick read. I'm also trying to make a quick read. Because if he said, if the pressure comes off the right edge, if the pressure comes off the right edge, if I'm blitzing, I'm, he's blitzing six, right? And I'm going to slide left, right? And then I'm going to ID this guy right here. Well, look at that. Now, see how it gets clunky? See how the pressure gets clunk clunkied up? That's a really critical point. So, messing with the slide protections, messing with the double teams, those are all really, really critical. Figuring out how do you block a finesse move specialist? How do you block a power specialist? Blocking schemes in Madden take time. What I want you to take away is, if you want to pick up pressure in the spread offense... If you want to pick pressure up in the spread offense, your running back, to me, is the key to that. Putting him on a check release is only going to pick up free runners. What I mean by that is if – let me let me give you an example. So let's say they go to cover three. So they're only blitzing three people. Jay Davion Clowney is the best blitzer of those three people. So what I'm going to do, if I know that, and again, I wouldn't, right? So this is where the chess match comes in. So more than likely, I'm going to try to pick it up by doing this. Um, if he baseline, sorry, he needs to baseline. So the defense looks like this, right? And this is why it's important for the defense's perspective to make everything look the same. So he's showing pressure right. That pressure is still, is still good, right? So I've got to honor that. I've got to honor that in my pass protection. So I can't really uh, I can't really double team anyone, so I'm going to reset that, and now I'm going to come over with Kyle Rudolph, and at the snap of the ball, you're going to see. Okay, now you see how that chess match works. Now he's got people in coverage. So that's the max coverage, max pressure kind of defensive philosophy. The thing that I wanted to share with you is if I put Dalvin Cook in a block and release pattern and they only blitz three people or even four people for that matter. So he's blitzing here and I ID this guy. Whoops. This guy right here. Same type of theory. At the snap of the ball, you'll see Dalvin Cook's going to go out on a route. What that means is he's not going to block anybody. And the reason that that's significant is if he doesn't block anybody, that means they're one on ones across the board. So that's the chess match you play with your pass protection. And depending on the formation, depending on the formation, it can change what they're able to do. So I'll give you an example of a defense that is a real defense that people will run. So if they go cover three, right, they go something like this, right, just a standard cover three. They're going to take maybe something like this. This is why 3-4 Bear, in my opinion, is 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 good. It's, it's, it's probably the best defense in the game for this reason. You could send anybody at any time. So I can't really focus on anyone. Now, think about it. If those guys on the edge are pass, re pass rushers, right? So if I D with Dalvin Cook, right? I'm going to ID with Dalvin Cook. Same theory, right? I'm going to, because I'm IDing with Dalvin Cook, 
then I can slide left if I think. But if I if I have to respect the fact that they're going to send max pressure, I'm going to bring Rudolph over. Snap of the ball, and you get that cut block off that ID like you want. Even though Dalvin Cook doesn't block him, you're telling your defense that's the key blitz angle. That's the key guy. That's the key to that pressure. You see why that could be some, some a really important information. So ID the mic is one of the most important things. It's 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 one of the most important things that you can do. Even if they're not sending, even if they're not sending the goons at you, even if you're getting a lot of coverage defense. Okay. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Went a little longer than I originally planned, but I hope this video was helpful to you. Talk a little bit about how to pick up the blitz in Madden 20. A lot of these principles will still apply in Madden 21, so I wanted to get this out. I think this will be very helpful. If this was helpful to you, do me a favor and just join our Discord. That's all I ask. I'm trying to get that up as much as I can because that's going to be such a great opportunity and a place for us to be able to talk Madden and also be able to ask questions and help each other get better because I'm not the best player. You're not